Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing numericals about when the resistance wire or a wire is cut into equal parts. We will be solving such kind of numericals in this video and I will be explaining the logic behind these numericals. Okay, so my first question is what will happen to resistance if wire is cut into equal parts? Okay, so for that, let us say there's a wire okay let it be of suppose 10 meter suppose this is of 10 meter and it, the wire is of equal area i mean uniform area and uniform length that it, it has no different densities it is uniform throughout the length is uniform area is uniform okay suppose its resistance is 10 ohm So I have a wire of length 10 meter and its resistance is 10 ohm. Okay. So if the wire is uniform, having uniform area, uniform length, can, can you guess or can you just think that what would be the resistance per meter? It means that what will the resistance in one meter 10 meter wire 10 ohm so the answer would be one ohm right one meter would be having one ohm resistance so if a wire is cut equally the resistance will be equally divided let us say if i cut these wire this wire into two parts that is five meter and five meter the wire having length one meter is of resistance 1 ohm so the wire having first part is of 5 meter so its resistance would be 5 ohm only right it would be of 5 ohm and similarly second part will be also of 5 ohm so now here is a 20 ohm wire and i have cut it into four equal parts so what would be value of resistance for each part? 20 in 4 equal parts. So it would be 20 divided by 4. That is 5 ohm, 5 ohm, 5 ohm and 5 ohm. So every part would be of 5 ohm. So this you have to remember that when a wire is cut into equal part, resistance also get divided equally. So here's a question. That a wire of resistance R is cut into three equal parts and then connected in parallel. So we have to find the ratio of resistance of this combination to the resistance of whole wire. Okay, so I have made a diagram over here and a wire, its resistance is R and I have cut it into three equal parts. As I have told earlier, that resistance would be equally divided. So if total resistance is R and it is cut in three equal parts. So each wire would be of now R by 3. This has been discussed earlier also in this video only. Each wire would be of R by 3 only. And now these wires are connected in parallel. Now you all know what is the formula to solve parallel combination. If it is connected in parallel, let us use the formula formula was 1 by r dash equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 it has been discussed in earlier videos also so 1 by r dash one by r dash is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 value of R1 R2 R3 is same that is R by 3 so if you put the value over here of R1 so it would be 3 by R plus 3 by R
plus V by R. LCM would be R only. So it would come 9 by R. 3 plus 3 plus 3, 9 divided by R. So this is the value of 1 by R dash. So if we cross multiply, what we get? We get value of R dash and we get value of R dash to be R by 9. Right? But question was to find the ratio. Ratio of this combination that is R by 9 to the resistance of whole value. That was R. So the ratio would be ratio would be R by 9 ratio would be r by 9 divided by r right r by 9 divided by r so r and r cancel out each other answer of this question would be 1 by 9